Hey guys, I am Meistermu, and um, today I'm going to do something a little different. This is a tutorial on how to do basic animation in Source Filmmaker. Now, um, so the first thing you need to know is the Source Filmmaker does animation within keyframes. Keyframes are motions that change within the timeline. So let's just say I put a marker here, as you can see, just down there where I my mouse is pointing at. Well, let's, it's it. The scout is at its basic form, basically. It's at its normal form. Let's just say I want to move the arm a bit. Gotta go and bring this up. And you'll see we've got a bit of an arm animation there. Now, yeah, this is, this is how you do it. But there's also some other stuff that I'll have to cover in a bit. So if you want to load into a load in a character, you go create animation set for new model. You search up what you want, do what mods you want to do, TF2, Left 4 Dead, all that stuff. Since I've already got one on, it's the scout. So I won't worry about that. But we got the arm animation there. Now we don't really want that because it's not that interesting the animation. So let's get rid of that. Now this is down here. As you might know, this is the timeline. Now, this is where it shows markers and everything. But just what, before we before we get into detail of everything, I just want to let you know the default um, timeline is this. This is the graph where you do the motions and everything. This is the time. This is like the the viewing timeline for like exporting the project and everything, and putting in effects like dialogue, music, um, other effects, and overlay effects. So does, that's what this is used for. Now let's go back to the graph. So this is where you put all your animations, and this is why you might encounter that you can't move stuff is because you're in the. You're in this timeline. You've got to move to the graph. Now, let's get the scout to wave at us. Let's get the scout to wave at us. Now, let's use the this arm, the left arm. So before we before we do our actual animation, we've got to lock it in place. Let's select the entire thing of arms, so you'll see that. Don't move this around though, because that can happen. All that weird blech, use. First of all, you select all the arms. You can either click here, or click Add Marker, which is just here. This is the Add Marker. Then, you go to the next part in the timeline, and then you do your motion. Now, let me tell you why. The reason you do this is because... Let's just let's just get rid of all that. Let's get rid of all the time, the stuff we've already done. If we do it like this, where there's no, there's no markers at all, and then you move over to here, just do it. Let's just do that. It's gonna be a bit crazy, but it stays in place because there's no starting off position. So you might get a little confused there. So let's just Control Z, Control Z, and we gotta select all the arms like we just did, and click here, and that creates a marker. Now we can do our little motion here. So let's grab the arm, move it up slightly, move the other part of the arm up slightly, maybe rotate her around a bit, or something like that, but you don't want to go all the way up, because if you do that, look how fast it looks, it looks a bit bad, unless you want it to be fast, but let's just space it out a bit, so it's a bit, you can actually really see the motions and everything. Now, let's collect, let's select the hand. So the hand is the same, it's connected to the arms. So what you um, want to do is make another selection. So once it gets up to here, create another marker over here. Then do your, do your little animation. So let's move it to this side a bit, to the left. And then let's go about about the same amount. You can zoom in by scrolling and um, move it right a bit. Now let's see how that looks. Yeah, good. That, that's good. Now it's uh, now you can actually copy and paste it. You can copy and paste keyframes. So let's go Control C.
Control V. You can also you hold Shift to select both of them. Then you can move them any way you want, and you can space them out and do whatever you want with them. Let's do. It. Let's watch this. Yeah, that's pretty fast though. So if you want to space them out, that's no problem. You just click on the marker and space it out. Let's see how this looks. There we go, that's pretty good. Now, if you want that to repeat the bunch, it wanted to repeat the cycle. Remember, like I said, hold Control C and then go Control V when you want to. Now, this most marker over here is just the starting off marker, like I said before. So don't worry about that. But just just do it with the, these ones. Control V. Let's see how that looks. And that's our little wave animation. So this is basically how you do um, basic animation. You can do it with anything, but you remember you always have to make one keyframe at the very start before you start animating, because otherwise it's going to it's going to be stiff. Let's just say I get rid of this. So let's just say I put it there, and I'm like, why isn't it moving? It's because you didn't put a keyframe over here. So let's just um, put it back in place, and then you'll see it. Move. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was quite helpful. Uh, there might be some like little text you saw. Those are just things I might have missed whilst talking. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope this helped you on animation. And I hope you're excited for my future animations that I'm making right now.